The world is in competition to create the greatest building of the future. In one part of the world, we have Apple's $5 billion solar-powered headquarters that looks like an alien spacecraft that crash-landed in the middle of Texas. Then there's the 2,716-foot Burj Khalifa in Dubai that is high-tech even for a city that has cops on hover bikes with its innovative green solar panels and water recollection tech. Of course, with every building of the future, we've got to ask, is it building a utopia or a dystopia? Often it may be a bit of both. The $81 million building known as The Edge in Amsterdam is considered to be the smartest, most energy-efficient building in the world. It features solar panels with load-bearing concrete to help regulate heat. The building also features thousands of sensors that monitor each room so that the building is running as efficiently as possible. Even the toilets use water collected from rain to flush hundreds of times a day. Perhaps the coolest feature is how it has ecological corridors that feature birdhouses, bat boxes, vegetation that attracts beneficial insects, and towers that support the local bee population. All of these innovations improve the environment of the city around the edge. While the building itself is cool, what really sets this office space apart from the rest is the building's app. It is everything you need at work. None of the employees apparently have their own desks. They're assigned them at the beginning of each day in various forms designed to fit their best health and work style. Standing desks, shared desks, private concentration rooms, and what they call hot desks, which are open and encourage socializing between employees. The app knows what temperature preferences you have as it guides you through your day, altering each room to fit your comfort. Apparently, the app is working on how to group certain employees by temperature preference to make the heating and cooling even more efficient. It can have coffee brought to you prepared exactly the way you like it. Even if you need to decide on what to eat for dinner at home, this app can have the groceries you need for the food you're cooking waiting for you at the end of the day. If you're thinking that's awesome or if you're thinking that's creepy, you're right. If you were to fly over Cupertino, California, you'd see a strange circular building that looks kind of like an alien spacecraft that landed in the middle of a city. Unfortunately, it's not a flying saucer, but rather the Apple Park, headquarters for the famous company of the same name. This was one of the final dreams of Apple's most famous CEO, Steve Jobs. He envisioned a special building with curved glass windows that architecture students would be inspired by for years to come. That dream is very much alive and well, with glass walls so clear that several people have been injured for walking right into them. It cost over $160 million to secure the over 60 acres of land. Then the campus itself cost $5 billion, even though it was only budgeted for three. As far as amenities go, it has state-of-the-art offices, cafes, a hidden underground parking structure, a visitor center, and a beautiful auditorium named the Steve Jobs Theater. Perhaps the most impressive feature of this building is how energy efficient it is. The roof is covered in solar panels that manage to generate over 17 megawatts of power. It's one of the largest solar roofs in the world, which was definitely what Apple was going for. The strangest claim to fame that the campus has is its walls are said to breathe. You see, Steve Jobs hated air conditioning and wanted to reinvent the very concept for this building. The walls instead have specialized soffits beneath the canopies to inhale and shafts to exhale warm air. If you think that would be a pain to implement in a building of this size, you would be right. While most were impressed with Apple's newest building innovation, it also drew quite a lot of heat. Apple is well known for being perfectionist when it comes to design, often to a fault. That goes for the architectural designs for their buildings as well. The door handles alone were subject to over a year of heated debate before they settled on slightly futuristic doors. After so much debate over the door handles, they were finally presented only to be rejected after one of the managers indicated he felt a slight bump after running his hands on it. Considering the fact that the construction team had checked their measurements down to a thousandth of a millimeter, I don't think anyone would fault them for leaving the project after that meeting. The wood choice for the campus had to follow guidelines that were over 30 pages. Even the pizza boxes in the cafe have a patent for their vents that release steam. So if Apple is making flying saucer, spaceship-looking office buildings, you just gotta ask what Google is doing. 
Well, it turns out for their Bayview campus, they've created what's essentially the most sophisticated tent ever made. A tent that supposedly costs somewhere in the neighborhood of $10 billion. Is that enough to make the nicest office space of all time? The bird's eye view of the second story of this campus shows an interconnected web of office workers who are beneath a huge canopy that drapes them in soft, natural light. The building itself does everything it can to combat the dreary image many people have of office work. For instance, it utilizes biophilic design principles. That means that the architecture tries to connect the employees to nature at all times. Every single desk has an outdoor view, and the windows are designed to shower each desk in natural light with modulating window shades that move throughout the day depending on the location of the sun. The ventilation system supports this design choice as well by pumping 100% outside air, while most systems only use like 25% outside air. Obviously, this building is going to push green technology forward. It has what's called dragon scale solar skin. These are specialized solar panels that look like a dragon's scales. Unlike flat roof panels, these curved panels manage to capture more sunlight from various different angles. Google has also invested heavily into creating a green paradise around the campus, including over 17 acres of wet meadows, woodlands, marshes, water retention lakes, and gardens. It even features an integrated geothermal pile system. This is an environmentally friendly energy source that takes advantage of the low-grade heat energy present in the shallow Earth's surface. This provides massive help for heating and or cooling the building. For this specific building, they claim that it reduces the amount of water used for heating and cooling to the tune of 5 million gallons of water a year. While all of that is great, it's not like most buildings of the future are likely to incorporate any of these revolutionary ideas. Most companies don't have a spare $10 billion lying around to make fancy Targaryen solar panels. Whenever most people discuss the Burj Khalifa, they usually just focus on how it's the tallest building in the world. That's no surprise, considering the fact that it stands at over 2,717 feet for a whopping cost of $1.5 billion over just 1,325 days something Tom Cruise became very well acquainted with. But most people tend to sleep on all the other things that make the Burj Khalifa one of the most impressive buildings ever made, even if it was a thousand feet shorter. As you should expect by now from these buildings, it's covered in solar panels. This is said to save the building around 3,200 kilowatts each and every day, though unfortunately none of them look like dragon scales. The benefits don't just go to the building itself. The Burj Khalifa sustainably collects massive amounts of water each year. Reported amounts are as high as 15 million gallons annually. That water is then given back to Dubai where it's used for irrigation, landscaping, cooling systems, and the Dubai Fountain. Now that is pretty cool. All of that together makes this building, which should be one of the most destructive buildings in the world to the environment, one of the greenest that's ever been constructed. Once upon a time, the Taiwanese building, known as Taipei 101, was the tallest skyscraper in the world before the Burj Khalifa was constructed. It held this record from only 2004 until 2009. That's pretty sad considering it cost $1.8 billion to construct. It still has the distinction of winning the LEED Platinum Certification for Energy Efficiency and Environmental Design. It refitted itself with LED lights, solar panels, and dozens of renovations aimed at saving on energy expenditure. It can be hard to properly understand just how much that green technology does for the world. The annual savings for Taipei 101 are 2,995 metric tons in reduced CO2 emissions. That's like nearly 300 cars driving all year long. The environment presents a much more urgent threat to a building like this, though. The area is beset upon by storms or earthquakes that could threaten its safety. To protect the building, it has what's called a tuned mass damper. It's essentially a huge pendulum that balances against the sway of the building by swinging hard in the opposite direction. It does so on hydraulically controlled suspension cables that automatically react to the movements of the building. That's dramatic even for buildings like these. I have a bunch of ideas for the new The Richest Campus Building. I just need three, maybe $400 billion to make it happen. You in?